only to be sold for bad news. But your life wasn't so short after all. And now my other aunts say you bought the extra years, mortgaged them with your misery. It's all superstition, the chattering of women in Chinatown, fingering herbs and antlers for soup to ward off colds and blue moods. But it's true. You once said that some men kill women with knives or guns, while others kill them silently over many years, and no one knows or cares to prosecute the crime. You were talking about your husband, the long years of bending to his will, so that your spirited life dwindled down to a room in the back of the broken house at the end of the dead end street. This was where you ended up, my aunt, who as a young woman traveled alone across America on a Greyhound bus, devouring the landscape state by state until you arrived, dizzy, running a fever, full to bursting with experience. I will read a couple of other um, fairly brief poems. Um, this poem I thought of reading because of our, our guest tonight, Olivia Chow, and I know her husband um, did a lot for homeless people. It was something that was close to his heart. Um, I live downtown, and as some of you will remember a few years ago, there was a woman who burned to death in her cart on Davy Street. And for months afterwards, I would walk up and down Davy Street getting my groceries, and I would walk past the charcoal smudge on the wall that she left behind. So this poem came from that. It's called Snow Globe City. Weeks of snow. The plants freeze. Green leaves darken to raisin, curl at the edges as if scorched. The ink in my pen thickens, won't write. At night we lie under a snowdrift of duvets, not moving, conserving the flickering flame of heat in our bodies. One wrong move and it's bare skin on a patch of ice. The fire in my brain all night, the conflagration. Five blocks away, a homeless woman burns in her cart, the stingy heat of a candle lighting up the quilts and cardboard, her long red hair. The crack and splinter of ice, a canopy of snow slipping to the sidewalk. You love how it muffles everything, stifles the sounds of the city, the gunshots going off downtown, the screams, the metal grid burning, fluff in the air, the eiderdown sky, bundled strangers passing, eyes down, styrofoam cups steaming in their hands, pyramids of coats and hats and gloves and scarves, goose feathers in my nose. Tomorrow, the bridge will be coated in ice, the color of concrete. We will slip and slide across, cautious as the elderly, ashen ocean smoldering below. A swipe of charcoal on a cement wall, the only record of the woman's passing, the ghost shape of her life as it went up in flames. And finally, very briefly, and thank you for your attention, by the way. You've been so quiet, it's amazing. I was expecting to hear the clatter of chopsticks and, and uh, everything throughout. This is just a very little poem. I, I was asked during the Olympics to write a poem about my neighborhood. And um, 